Today we're going to show you how to build a chain using Workiva's HTTP connector. So first we're going to create a chain. I'm going to enter a name for this. We're going to click the save button. We can access the HTTP connector by just typing HTTP and we can choose which method that we are going to interface with. So for this example, we're just going to do a basic get method against a public API. So if we edit our first step, we can enter a name. I'm just gonna call this get employee data. So the data set that we're using for the purpose of this is restapiexample.com. This is a public REST um, API that is not controlled by us, so just a disclaimer that it may be taken down at any time. We're going to call this slash employee API, which will return us uh, some JSON data format. Um, so just to look at how it looks nicely over here, this is what the result set will look like when we, when we pull this back. So if I jump back to my chain editor, we're going to, th this particular API isn't protected by username and password. So we can go and skip this section. And we like to typically click this, check this box to show response. This will help us in the troubleshooting process in the event that we run into any issues. And what I'm going to do is paste in the URL to this REST API example for our employees. We'll leave the rest of this, the default, we're going to get JSON data back. And we can paste in sample response data. This can be, if we enter this and fill this, this text box in, we can reference um, some of the tags for this JSON data later on. We're not going to do this for this example, but we'll just enter it in as a good practice. So now we have our call to, to our HTTP endpoint. The next step we're going to have to do is process the JSON response. We're going to do this using the array to CSV command. I'm going to connect our boxes over here and we're going to open this up. So now what we're doing is we're taking that raw JSON data that we are receiving and we are going to um, format it or put it in CSV format so that we, we can import it into our table. So what we'll do here is our JSON data is going to be our get employee data response data. The path to root, we will make our dollar sign data. And the reason that we are doing this is that our data tag here is going to be what holds the array of data that that we're pulling back. So we'll make this data. We can keep this. We'll have our preview results. So this is going to log in the logs what the results look like. We do this for testing purposes. And then we are going to set up our individual columns that we're pulling back. So we're going to have our ID will be the ID of our employee name, p dot employee name. And this is just the JSON tags that we're pulling from each of the data points that we're pulling back. We have our salary, we have our age. And then I'm going to change my delimiter over here to comma, so that way we can import this easily into our Workiva table. And I'm going to save this. 
The next step that we're going to do is the Workiva create file command. And we're going to need our import file into table command after this. Just pull those two in, connect each of our steps here, and then configure these one by one. So we went in and we already created a table. I'll have another video on how to create tables if you'd like to see that and need help there. Um, that's our table ID that we have. Our file will be our converted file from the array to CSV. We can type in any name that we want. And we can save this. Oops. And I realized I forgot to put my extension at the end, so I'm just going to add that in. And then our final step here will be the import file into table. And again, we have our table ID that we can pull from the URL of the table. And our file ID is going to be this create file result ID. We're going to save this. Finally, we'll publish this and run. Now, as we run through the steps here, we're pulling that employee data back. We're transforming it into a CSV format. We're creating the file that we put into our table. And then last, we are importing that file from the staging area of the table. And we have all check marks. And if we look in our table, we'll be able to see that our data is there. One thing to note about the HTTP connector is there is a restriction at this time where the data set that you pull back has to come back within a two minute time period. Otherwise, it times out and whatever data you have at that two minute period is, is what shows up. So just be aware if you are pulling data that you'll wanna make sure that it gets completed and returned back within that two minute window. Thanks.